Today we're going to go over how to add Google Webmaster Tools to your Zenfolio account. Now the purpose of adding Webmaster Tools is to see if there's any issues um, such as duplicate content or if the website's got any kind of concerns, um, any problems, Google is basically going to give you a heads up here in this system. If you don't have this set up, you don't really have a way of communicating with Google if all of a sudden your website just disappears. There's probably some kind of issue. And this is a great free easy tool to add to your site that will inform you of anything that's going to happen. So uh, basically just go to google.com slash webmasters. Once you're there, sign into your webmasters tools. You're going to use your Gmail account again. And once you're in, you're going to simply click on add a site. So in this particular example, we'll add zenfolio.com and make sure you're adding it properly, the URL. I don't put the HTTPS, I don't put www, I just put just the zenfolio.com. So we'll press continue. Once that is ready, now they're gonna ask you to verify that that is your website because you know, to, in order to track the site, they need to make sure that this is your site. They don't wanna give information to just anybody. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at alternate methods to verify the site and you're going to click on HTML tag. This is the tag that you want to copy and then you go into your Zenfolio account. So this is the back end. You click on your preferences. You click on your preferences and you click on search engine tools. That is where you're going to be able to verify with Google Webmaster Tools as well as Bing. And in here is where you paste that code that you just got. Once you paste it in, press save and this will, and then you click this verify button. Once you verify, it will check and then let you know that that site's active. If it doesn't work, you will notice it's going to keep asking you to verify it. So you need to make sure that you've selected the HTML tag and you've picked, you've copied this code exactly the way it is. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. And thank you again.